this video I want to show you how to work a whip stitch in your knitting. The time I primarily use it for is when I want to create a folded hem. So this particular cardigan was worked from the top down. On the right side there's a purl row put in here so that it creates an actual clean folding line. And then continue to stock a net stitch on the inside here. Then the live stitches are all whip stitched on to the edge after folding it up neatly like this. The benefit of it is that you can see it's got lovely amount of stretch here and because you haven't bound off the stitches first of all you don't have the lump of the bind off to work with here so it gives a much more smoothly flowing knit I think to, to finish it by using whip stitch. So now I can show you how to work it here. I've just got a very small swatch. It started along here. I worked down to the point where I wanted the folding hem to be. You don't have to do this step, but it can sometimes help if you're a little worried about missing the point where it's going to fold to. So I just used a, um, a darning needle like this and put this uh, waste yarn on it and just threaded it through all the stitches. I didn't pierce the stitches, it just kind of underneath the needle, it just ran through all of them the same way as if you were attaching a lifeline. So then you knit down to the point where you want it to turn. You put in your turning row, which is just a purl row on the right side. In this case, I've got four rows, a purl row, and then another three rows. And then when you turn around here, what we're going to do is you want it to fold at the turn row and create a nice tidy fold here. And you would break your yarn with plenty of length to attach however many stitches you have. Um, I'm not 100% certain how much yarn you'd need, probably uh, between two and three times the, the physical length would be my guess. But you know, if you run out of yarn, you can always reattach and just attach the new yarn. It's a bit harder to see your lifeline here, but you can kind of see it along here. And all we're trying to do here is these bumps underneath the lifeline I want to attach each of these stitches to each of these bumps. So I've got my live yarn here, pull it through the first loop here, try and loop it over the needle here and pull it through the stitch. I'm going to take the stitch off the needle and then just attach those two together. You want to give it a snug up because of course it's attached to the actual stitch so Snuggy is going to snug the stitch up as well. Now that was the first bump, you want the next one here and we can do it a little bit more straightforwardly here this time. You can attach the, 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 the stitch first of all and then we attach. I'm going to check again here, you can see how easy it is to track. That's my lifeline and it was the bump straight under is what I wanted. We've attached the next one. Snug it up, but don't pull it so tightly that you've got no give. You go on to the next one. Back along, check my lifeline is along here. So I'm going to attach it to this one here. So you just continue on with your knitting like that, attaching each of them as you work and give it a gentle little snug up. And I'd suggest stretching it out like this too to make sure it doesn't get too tight. When you're finished, you'll just pull out your lifeline and if you you'd have finished your nice neat folded hem.